Yes, uh, welcome to the lighter side of the Christmas side. It's the Dark Mark Show holiday special. And, boy, you had to see what I was looking at. Uh, Santa Claus working his usual charm on our uh, our guest tonight, adult superstar Cindy Starfall. Santa, this is an annual tradition. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by again. Thank you, Mark. It's good to be here. Very good to be here. And I'm glad that Cindy stopped by. Uh, this is going to be a great show. Josie's on her way. She is parking. Uh, and she is... Uh, Putting on her makeup. That's go ahead, give it a tug, Cindy. That is real. Yes, Cindy is, the, is stroking uh, Santa Claus's beard. Look at look at that smile on Santa Claus's face. This is going to be a great show. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a great show, especially gonna be, for me. It's going to be a great show for everybody. Let me uh, let me get the sponsors out of the way because uh, we have to do that, and uh, then we can get right to Christmas fun and, and Hanukkah fun, Kwanzaa, solstice, whatever whatever you celebrate because. Uh, if you're in L.A. or you're visiting L.A., you want to go to our uh, sponsor, Doomy's Home Cooking. Uh, Sandy, have you ever been to Doomy's Home Cooking? I guess not. Okay. Doomy's Home Cooking, by the way, if you're ever in Hollywood, can you hear me? Okay, good. Yeah, if you're ever in Hollywood, you should... Uh, are you a vegan? Are you a vegetarian? Because you're very petite. I love meat. You Sorry, love meat. I'm not a vegan. You know, I, I uh, could eat a lot of food. No, no, but I'll tell you what. You want to go to Doomy's Home Cooking. It doesn't matter if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. What is that? Doomy what? Doomy's Home Cooking, which is on... Uh, Doomy's Home Cooking is on... I should get the address here. Uh, it is uh, on 1253 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. Here's the deal. My friend Phil Doomy... You, you, you got me at Doomy, so Doomy, yeah. Doomy, D-O-O-M-I-E, Doomy's Home Cooking. Oh, it's My friend Phil Doomy, he eats meat too. He loves me just as much as you, if not more. <laughs> but he always dates vegetarian girls. So he said, and they kept taking him to vegetarian restaurants that were awful. So oh. he said, I'm going to open, and he's a great cook. He said, I'm going to open my own restaurant, and it's going to have food that I like, that I can eat. Yeah. Like, like I, had, I was there a few weeks ago, shrimp scampi, delicious. Chicken fried steak, fried chicken, vegan fried chicken. Yeah, if they it's have like a Big real Mac. food, then I don't mind. You know, it's real food. <laughs> they have, uh, they have a, uh, they have their own version of the Big Mac, which oh, is wow. better and meatier than the Big Mac. So mm. if you're ever, if you are ever in Hollywood, uh, any you or any of our listeners, go to Doomy's Home Cooking, Doomy's Home Cooking, excuse me, Cook In with an N, uh, twelve fifty three Vine Street, Hollywood, California nine zero zero three eight. Uh, if you ever have vegan friends uh, that insist on going to a vegan restaurant, at least go to one that tastes good. We are also sponsored by Audible.com. Now they've uh, we we do this every week, and I think I'm I, I think uh, what's happening is I'm getting a little tired of it. Are you aware of, of Audible.com? Audiobooks. You listen to them in your car. I just did a, a gig in Vegas. Listen to audiobooks, but they've got they've got books by uh, some of your favorite celebrities. Chelsea Handler's new book is on there. Neil Patrick Harris's book is on there. They've oh, got all sorts cool. of stuff. Sasha Gray, who's been a guest on the show, her erotic novel is on there, Hunger Games, uh, Sookie Sackhouse books, whatever you like, Stephen King. If you go to darkmarkshow.com, www.darkmarkshow.com, click on the audible button right next to my smiling face, you get a Christmas gift. You get a free <laughs> audiobook and a 30-day free trial to audible.com. You can sign up with your Amazon account. It's real easy. Get the book. Even if you cancel the next day or within 30 days, you keep the book. It's on your tablet. It's on your phone. It's on whatever device you can listen to it in the car. It's great because uh, I like stories. I don't necessarily have the time to read. That's what's great about audible.com. And this is a new one, uh, uh, Santa. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. We're sponsored by stamps.com. Really? That's great. Yeah. If you go to darkmarkshow.com, on the other side of my smiling face, there's a stamps.com button. You click on that. You get a special offer. It's $100 value, $45 in postage coupons, nice. a free digital scale, which... With our audience has numerous yes. uses. A five dollar supply kit and a four week free trial to stamps.com. It's the holidays. Everybody likes sending cards, packages. Yes. Nobody likes to go to the post office. I love sending my fans auto goodies. In well, you, you actually stamps.com is probably really good for you. Yeah. Because all you do, you take the envelope through your printer that's got postage to throw it in the mailbox. You don't have to go to the awesome. post office anymore. Just prints things for the packages. <laughs> it's, it's it's easy. So uh, just go to go to darkmarkshow.com. And click on the stamps.com uh, website, and uh, you'll get a free trial. So, so Mark, nice. tell yeah. me more about the scale. Uh, scale, it's, uh, I don't know too much <laughs> about the scale. Let me see the offer details. Uh, it's a free five-pound digital scale. It's a $50 value. It's free to keep with no obligation. Just pay for shipping and handling, which is typically nine ninety nine or less. 
So, so I don't know if Santa, if you have a real need for a digital scale, well, I mean, you're, you're shipping out presents, so I guess you do. I am, I do. I ship a lot of things. Yeah, so. But you, I like the idea of the scale. I'll bet you do. Santa's a little frisky tonight, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, I do want to let you know who you're sitting next to, Santa Claus. This is uh, Cindy Starfall. <laughs> Cindy, Hi, Cindy. Cindy nice Starfall to meet you. Is the, yes. Uh, she is the uh, she is the uh, uh, the uh, star of such great movies as and by the way Josie Cat is on her way so she will be here shortly, but but Cindy Starfall is the uh, the uh, star of such films as Squirt in My Face, Hot for Teacher, Asian Sin, uh, uh, Sweet Petite Two, Teen Cocksuckers Two, Face Sitting Tales, Princess Shuka's Little Mamas. A lot of them. Yeah. I... Well, is that a big a big series? I'm not aware of that. I stars in over a hundred something movie. Come on in. in. Interracial Internal, too. Corrupt Schoolgirls, too. But uh, let me, uh, I, because uh, Sandy, I want to let you, I want to give you the whole story about Cindy Starfall. Cindy Starfall, and uh, this is why, this is part of the reason I want to have you on the show. I was intrigued. Well, I'm intrigued about all that. Well, I did a lot of research, uh, and Santa Claus apparently did, too, um, on you. But uh, oh. th before we get into all that and the squirting and the cocksucking and all that, <laughs> um, you were born in Vietnam. Yes, I was. I was born and raised in Saigon, Vietnam. In Saigon, Vietnam. And the funny thing is, what I know about Vietnam, and Santa's been all the world, so he knows more than I do, uh, is what I see in movies like, uh, you know, uh, poverty and war. That's all I know. Yeah. It's just, just you know, smell of napalm in the morning and people that are living in rice paddies and real poor. But you grew up rich in Vietnam. There, there are the parts of it which, you know, more in a countryside, and you do see that part of Vietnam, but I grew up more in a city okay. park, and I don't usually show that because they want to show the third world countries, and uh, yeah, I was a little spoiled brat, but You're I didn't get to do a lot Vietnam. of, I, I didn't get to do much of a lot of things. It's a very conservative and, uh, country, I guess. Yes, I, it was. So I, I, that's when my curiosity came in. So you're in, you're living in a mansion in Saigon, and uh, and the rest of the country is uh, <laughs> yeah, don't still say recovering. Like that. <laughs> Rambo's coming over to to rescue our troops. But and I remember, city. I always see these Americans that walk by, and I always see, oh my god, I was so fascinated by them. Really? Yes. You like all, American these guys? Amer all these American men would be. Much taller than me, and I was just a little girl when I was like fifteen, and I was just so mad. I don't know why I was got. S I got so thrall. curious. I got just so, so curious. And I said, but, I got to go to America. Well, you're still petite. You're you're four eleven. I'm four eleven. And which is which is a nice size. My ex my last girlfriend was four ten, so I, I like. Yeah. I don't mind this. I don't mind the short girls. It's nice. Santa, you have a preference. You like tall girls, short girls. You Santa, don't? do you like spinners? I like uh, I like all girls. Spinners are a very spinning good. Spinning center, and, yes. <laughs> yes, I do know what those are. Yes, Santa, you've had some experience Santa with some naughty. He knows what the no, spinner is. No, no, but, but Santa, but you got is Mrs. Claus a spinner? That's probably a good question for you. <laughs> is Mrs. Claus a spinner? Have you seen Mrs. Claus and the cookies and the and the yeah, yeah, North was, Pole in the kitchen? Well, and all was that? she a spinner at one like time? I know she's got a little chubby. She's not a spinner. She's not a spinner. Yeah. Okay. Santa I think Santa has the little helpers around. Santa's got little helpers all over the world. A lot, of, a lot of the true. elves, that's a yeah. whole other story. Right. So, but the so Vietnamese Claus. elves, you got elves in South America. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, see, yeah, everywhere he goes, yes. everywhere he goes, he recruits yes. them. And, uh, and, and <laughs> you, right. you and Mrs. Claus have an understanding while you're, you're, while you're out giving the presents and, and feed, feeding the family. Just one time in a year in the holiday season, uh, you can go wild. For about 24 hours. 24 hours. <laughs> all over the world. All over the world. Stuffing stockings, going down the chimneys. Stuffing. And... But Santa, I'm so little. You can stick me anywhere or hide me somewhere. That's oh, true. Yeah. No you, one you, even going to find out. You can stick her in your sack. <laughs> You're a regular stocking stuffer and careful with the sack thing. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's going to be fun. So... But you moved now. Now, so how did now? This is I. I this because I, I. I on your biography. So you grew up rich, in in Saigon, and you were a little hellraiser as a kid, which is you know hard to believe because you look so sweet. Look at that sticking your tongue out. All I that know. Time. I, I am sweet. Yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Until I suck on your cock. Uh, you're sweet until you suck on the cock. That boy. If I had a dime for every woman that told me that. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, so, but how did you get to America? So you were American at fifteen. Yes, I went uh, from Saigon to um, Oregon. I first went to Oregon first. Wow, that's a, there's a cult, it, it, culture shock. Yeah, it was a big culture shock. I didn't know any English, and yeah, I heard I, you were self-taught. Which, which is, I was self-taught. I was forced to because there's not many Asian in Oregon. There is now. Where, where I was, 
Uh, yeah, is it? Um, yeah, there is now. Trust me, I went to Portland. There is a lot. Uh, Santa, Santa back me up on that wow. one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because my family is so conservative, so they send me to a private school. So does your, your family move to Oregon? Is that what happened? or? Um, No, no. Uh, I was sent for as a student program, like oh, a okay. student oh, oh, international oh, oh, like, um, study. Yeah. yeah, study exchange. And right. I stayed with a host family, which is American as well. Right. Okay. And I was forced to learn uh, English. And I went to uh, to these private school. And I was like, oh, my God, you know. Catholic schools. I, I went to Catholic school. And I, I guess your parents probably were thinking, well, You'll go to America, you'll go to Catholic school, you'll yeah. learn some discipline. Yeah, I was homeschooled, Catholic school, uh, during high school. And yeah, discipline, all girls school, and of course... And of course, that's that's the worst, uh, because you're... Uh, it's kind off, of backfires, definitely. Exactly, the Catholic school girl <laughs> outfit. Uh, I posted a picture on uh, Instagram and Facebook of you in a Catholic school girl outfit. You wear it very well. I love Catholic school girl outfit. I remember I always got in trouble because I keep um, rolling them up. Because you know the real Catholic school right. girl is not as slutty as a costume looking one. And um, no. <laughs> I wish it is. I wish it is. And I try to make it as it was. Right. <laughs> and I just keep rolling it up, rolling it up. And I remember every morning the nuns would come in my classroom always getting rolling in trouble. Rolling up the shirt or rolling up the dress? No, what? rolling up the skirt so it would be shorter. You're rolling up oh, the wow. waistband so it comes up higher. Ah, yeah, Santa yeah. knows it. Yeah, Santa knows yeah. it. See, Santa knows it. Because <laughs> there's that naughty already. list and the nice list. And somehow so, you have to do something to get on the naughty list. Right, so, so, you're, naughty, so you're naughty, a little cold on the stocking once in a while. Yeah, the nuns would always say, your skirt gets too short. And of course, you being the only Asian girl in the school, I'm sure. I, I was the only Asian girl. The, the, boy, the boys with the Asian and fetish. And I just like, oh man, if I really need to talk to the guys, I need to... Learn English somehow. So. Right. <laughs> so you learned English the uh, hard way? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> let's, say, let's say I got to be a teacher's pet. I'll bet you did. <laughs> I love being teacher's pet. The English teacher really liked the you. The English and, teacher pet, yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, because you speak really well. I mean, you speak very, very well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We've had some people that uh, were born in America that don't speak near as well as you in, 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 on the show. <laughs> including me sometimes. I mean, I could do some broken English as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. This, and I'm sure you've had to do that in your, uh, in your yeah, adult like films. Yeah, sucky, sucky, you know, typical well, that, one. Well, that's the thing, because you, you've done a lot of massage parlor porn. Mm -hmm. That's like a that's like massage. Everything. You know the stereotype porn. Yeah. No, massage tell me about it. I, I don't know what you're talking about. The, 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 so, I love it. I enjoyed it. Something like this. Oh, hello, big boy. It's on table. <laughs> or happy ending massage. Happy ending massage. Oh, you want to massage me too? I, okay. I'm pretty good thing. now. I could be a certified massage right. therapist now. Well, well, what was the first time a guy told you uh, love you a long time? When, would you, when did you hear that one first? I think it was uh, when I first came here um, with some... Uh, it was some of my white friends, and we were talking, and he sh they showed me the movie that you guys watch. It's a full right. metal jacket or something right. like that. And, you, and there you, was a Vietnamese yeah. uh, girls in there say five dollar, five dollar. Yeah. Did you see? Did you hear? You hear did you hear the song? The uh, me so horny. No, no, I didn't hear the song. Well, you've heard we, it, right? Have you? Heard, you've heard it since, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Yeah, since, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I just boy, that question went nowhere. So anyway, but <laughs> here's what here's what I was intrigued by also, and. Uh, because uh, we'll get to you, Santa. Because because you, you've been you've no been, rush. No, no you've, rush. Been, you've been doing a lot of, a lot of things lately, and not just your, your your usual thing. But Santa actually has been uh, he's been dabbling uh, a little bit. Uh, you had a it was a Vegas. You had a whole thing. You were Whoa, uh, yeah, we Santa, went to Vegas. You went to Vegas. We went to, we went to Vegas, Vegas to uh, shoot a commercial. Right. So we shot a commercial for Lions Den, which is an online adult appliance store. Are you aware of Lions Den, uh, Cindy? Oh. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Tell Lions me more, Den. Santa. So now we can get you a discount at Lion's Den. Yeah, I love when Santa talks dirty. But it was cool. We did a parody on Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, uh -huh. really? So Santa was Mr. Grey, and it was pretty cool. Oh, Honestly. that's hilarious. I'd love to see lines. that. That's probably better than the actual movie. <laughs> it probably is. It's If you look at the trailer for, for Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, you're not in it, so yeah. I'm not in that, but right. I'm in this parody that we did. And we did things like he had reindeer in his office. Oh, that's hilarious. And they were tied up, right? Oh. Um, uh, it was good. It was fun. It was it was a good time. Yeah, I also did a few other little things. Hold things on, like I, I got. Uh, hang on, we got some coming. I got, up. I got, I got a naughty I, one. I, 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 no, At least got naughty. a phone call. No, Josie's been naughty, and she she left her phone in the car. So oh, we gotta spank Josie. her when she come in. Then oh, oh I'm sure that yes, will happen. We will. No, no, probably happen. more than once. Probably more than once. Yeah, so anyway, Stan, so, so, I want you to get it all dirty. So so anyway so how did they contact you how did they uh, 
How does Santa Claus get through my through my agent? The agent knew that I'd done commercials, so right. set me up with that. So I drove out to Vegas and hung out there in the studio for a while, and it was cool. uh, it was good. And there was there was another scene in it too, totally different than the Fifty Shades of Grey, right? Where <clears throat> the line was, "Before I leave on my world ride trip for for giving away gifts, right. I always like to make sure that." Mrs. Claus gets her gift first. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> you I picked up a box and <laughs> nice, pretty well done. It was it was a good bunch of people. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Very interesting. So uh, um, uh, that and I'm, I'm glad you're getting some work on your off hours. Yeah, because this Santa thing, you know, 24 hours one day a year, you got to find something else to do. Right. Managing the elves is one thing, but uh, you need to kind of get out there. Oh sure, yeah. So uh, and, oh Santa uh, sure gets out there. Now th 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 and th this this oh look who's here the naughty girl Hello, Josie's here <laughs> Josie cat do you know Santa Claus yes yes hi Santa hi there good to see you again. Uh, hey. uh, and and this is Cindy Hi. Starfall. Hi, Cindy. Uh, she's uh, she's been in she's been in some. We were saying some that you're you're movies. being naughty. Yeah, that, oh. and that you need some spanking. Oh, right? yeah. So we're we gonna yeah we. Uh, well, we're going to talk a little bit more. We're going to do all... We're gonna, <laughs> He's like, we're going to talk a little bit more. <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit more. Because I don't know if you're aware, because Cindy's uh, been in the, such great uh, films as Squirtgasms, uh, Orgy Masters 3, and uh, Naughty Nannies? Naughty Nanny. And Femdom you know? Ass Worship 18. Yeah, that, that is the other side of me. I have two sides, the submissive side, and then there's the dominated side of me. Uh, Which we, one's your favorite? That's what I was going to ask. Hmm. It's really depend on the guys. I, you know, yeah. I could be very aggressive. What about too. girls? When I, when I come to girls, I find that when I come to girls, I get more aggressive with the girls. Really? And then um, for the guys, I like them to be manhandled. Because I would think, because uh, there was an interview where you said you like really big, strong guys like Vin Diesel and Sylvester And Sloan. Santa. Santa and, Santa, and Dark yeah, Mark. She's bigger and, than me. Obviously, everybody's bigger than me, right? right? But you like big, <laughs> muscular guys, right? I want someone manly that can handle me. Yeah, there's a lot to handle. And I mean, not every woman's been in throat fucks for, but uh, you. Uh, <laughs> but here's, here's the story. Fuck, yeah. And here's the thing, because because uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, ha uh, have some brownie brittle. I don't know who's that is, but uh, go it's ahead. It's not brownies or brittle. What is it? It's crackers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who would want to eat crackers before they go on the right. show? Well, I, I did want to say that uh, that uh, um, Ooh, uh, there is a brownie brittle. That C Cindy, uh, yeah, I, I, I hate to interrupt. We're doing the show, but Cindy. <laughs> Cindy was actually uh, Cindy's from Vietnam, and I wanted to wait till you got into the door. You oh. had a, you had a bad experience in Vietnam last year. Uh -oh. Yeah, I had I, I got mugged by someone on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh no! And I was told that that would happen by about five different people from Vietnam, and they said, "Don't carry a purse." Yeah. It was my last day. I usually never do carry a purse when I travel. I usually don't carry a purse when I'm out in Hollywood either. Right. You just and, don't carry underwear um, either, but... Uh. <laughs> See, That's the only why I wear leggings. Right. See, next time, you should have stick me around. <laughs> and stick then, you around? Yeah, and bring <laughs> me with you. So, so I was going to ask now, when you grew up, I mean, had, did you uh, did you go to the rough areas? Uh, did you have any uh, bad stories or... The rough area, you mean like the, the urban when you, when you grew up area? In Saigon, yeah. Um, you know, when I was growing up, my family doesn't really let me out ah. too much. Um, if I do let out, it would be somebody following me. Right. But I always. So you were always, that rich. You had like a security I, I, detail. I, I, I always managed to get out. Right, so you were that... I sneak you, out. Like you <laughs> slipped away on your own, right? I sneak out all the time, and they always know when I'm coming out, because they would be like, oh, so-and-so's granddaughter is out. <laughs> it just... So you had just, a security detail? Not like a full security detail like you would think. I mean, I had the drivers, and they would drive me to school. Oh, wow. so, the, so they would uh, drive me back and forth, so they know where is I'm at and everything. Right. And, um, and but I mean, I do from, have I do have a rebel. Are you from Ho Chi Minh City? Yeah, I'm from Saigon. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I do are have you a rebel Saigon moment. or do you call it Ho Chi Minh? I call it Saigon, but a lot of people like to call it Ho Chi Minh City. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's officially Ho Chi Minh City now. Yeah, it used to be Saigon. Well, thanks for, mm. thanks for your correction, yeah, Josie. Yeah, look at her. Josie oh, just yeah, got back from that, yeah. Yeah. Jo Josie's no, a nothing. Vietnam historian. But that is always a rebel size of me. No, so we know I you're just, a rebel. Uh, we know you're a rebel. So I just, well, right? Well, well, I read a story. I, into a porn star. I read a story that when you were uh, when you were a little girl, uh -oh. I, I guess not that little. Uh -oh. I, I'm, I'm thinking 13, 14. <laughs> you used to masturbate in the shower while your nanny yes. was outside. Yes. You were that sexual that quick. 
see, I don't remember what year. I would say I was about 12, 11, around that age. And they always, I was known to take like the longest shower because my nanny <laughs> always, <also>, my. <laughs> <laughs> And There's a, a girl needs her private you. time. Right. <laughs> because I can't do it outside. You know, there's always people watching and bugging me. And I found one day that the shower head really feel good on oh, my wow. clit. Oh, you found the shower head at 12. It, yeah, Love right. It. I was exploring and I just stay in there because my nanny always have to wait because um, she get all the towel ready right. when I get out. So she always... <laughs> So she always tell my mom, like, she takes a really long shower. <laughs> I have a towel boy waiting for me, too. I'll bet you do. When was the first time you discovered the shower head, Josie? Wow, that's a good question. Probably. Because yeah, every girl knows about the shower head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, definitely. 11, 12, about the same time? Uh, yeah, probably, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe I mean, a little if bit if younger. Not, I didn't know much about vibrators or anything right. like that. I mean, there's no way you can ask this to go to a, an adult store like over here. Right. So you got to improvise. Right, right. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's adult stores. <laughs> well, in you're Saigon, supposed to be 18. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. So as, I didn't as, know much about it. I just feel, I didn't even know when I have an orgasm. I was like, wow, this feels good. But I didn't know what it was. Right. I was like, it just feel good. So every day I'm in a right. shower for like an hour. Wow. <laughs> You're very clean. Yeah, very definitely. Clean. Uh, meantime, time, my skin meantime was... the nanny's there with a towel waiting for you to come out all naked and wet. I think we got to do No, Santa's been, Santa's, uh-huh. been, Santa's been on a roll this year. So, Santa, when did, you, when did you first notice that the uh, shower head tickled the balls really nicely? Wasn't that... Uh, I think it was pretty early, probably around nine. It felt good on the shrink there, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was okay. uh, good. Yeah, we had to use hot water though, because cold water was gone. Yes, the cold water, the cold water, no good. Yeah, it's got to no be all. hot. But Santa, yeah, Santa's been uh, Santa's been busy. He's uh, so Santa. Uh, so uh, would you say that the uh, boys His and girls? His beard is real. No, no, he's the he's the real yeah, deal. Yeah, I've I've been petting no, that, him. That's a, no, she's been petting him. I've been petting him and kissing so, him. So, Santa, what how, do you think about older men? I love older men. Oh my God, you ask the right <laughs> questions. What do you, you think of older me, women? I you, think uh, Jesse's trying to get at like, something. You just give me like an orgasm asking that. I love wow. older men. Like, like how do you want to sit on Santa's lap? Huh. Oh, we're going to do that. I want to get the yes, Sydney Starfall story first. Actually, we're going to do that very shortly because I got gifts for both of you. Oh. Both of you are going to sit on Santa's lap, and we'll see what happens after that. Oh. But here, <laughs> I'm afraid I, to find out. I, I, want, cause, cause Cindy, I, I, I know this Santa. He's yeah. a naughty one. Because, I, I, <laughs> Cindy, I did a lot of research on you. Josie will tell you, I do a lot of research on a people. Yeah. A lot oh, of my research God. On a lot of story. So, so I, I know about the shower head. I know about uh, Oregon. I know about... But here's the, this is uh, this is what, to me, what, what was, was really interesting about you is, from what I understand, this is from the stories, how you got into porn in <clears> that... You were working a, 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 and I don't want to say the company, but you were working a straight corporate job yeah. uh, in L.A.? Yeah, a straight corporate job in L.A. Right. What, kind, what got, kind of work was it? It's, a, it's in a fashion company. Okay. And were you a salesperson or? And a buyer, yeah. Oh, a buyer. So you guys may have crossed wow, paths. Because, I got, uh, because <laughs> I, got the, um, I got the degree from FITM. Uh, I went there too. Really? Oh, nice. FITM graduates. Awesome. That's why I was like, wait a minute. This sounds like a merchandising and marketing job. Yes, that's uh, what that's what I, I graduated uh, between with. You, between, between you and Santa, I'm visiting something something else. But uh, <laughs> Yes, Santa, you can have fuck FITM alumni. <laughs> <laughs> Two FITMs in one. Actually, the first photo oh. movie I ever saw, I ever rented by myself, Santa, and I'm, I'm ashamed to say it. Uh, is a, a, a film called Merry Xmas. Are you aware of this? Oh, that's a good one. Yes, that's a very good one. Uh, Merry Xmas is uh, it's Santa Claus's daughter. And I, I hate to tell you who's in it because that, that really dates it, but Santa Claus's daughter comes around and fucks all these people. Mm. And she's got a, I didn't uh, know Santa Claus had a daughter. Yeah, I, I didn't know, know that either. I didn't know either, but... Where is this daughter? Huh? And, she, and she, she, she's got a little <laughs> elf that's with her. So every time she's fucking a guy, it's like... And, and Ron Jeremy's in it, the whole thing. It's just so he's like... He's like, fire, fire your brains out, fire your brains out. And then at the end when, like, uh, the elf starts getting some action. It's so the, it's, a, it's a little, a little person. It's a little, <laughs> no, a it's little a real elf. They actually got a hey, real elf from the There was a movie elf. called Elf with, with Will Ferrell, and he no, was No, I've never size. heard of it. It was just the biggest movie of 10 years ago. I, I'm aware of that. No, the, and the, so the, was us. <laughs> No, they, they actually Mary went to Xmas. they actually went to where they had the Hobbit and got the real elf and put him in the movie. But anyway, so here's the story. So you're working as a, a fashion buyer. Yeah. 
By the way, uh, Josie just came from the dentist, so she's all looped out from uh, from nitrous <laughs> oxide. So she's a, she's in rare form. But anyway, I know the shows are always interesting after I come back from the dentist. <laughs> but here, here's the story. So you were working you were working as a fashion buyer, nice job, corporate job. You get called into the HR mm-hmm. director's office because. Mm-hmm. Her son saw you on a webcam. Yes. Because you were doing that on the side. And the son told his mother? See, that's what I found Whoa. sketchy because whose son would tell their mother that they watch porn? Uh, no, I, I wasn't informed by that. that. I wasn't informed by that. I was doing, webcam, doing webcam, webcam, webcam show. Webcam. I was doing webcam show. And who would like, oh, hey, mom, look who I yeah. watch. Hi. You know, I just feel like that's kind of weird. Hi, mom. But guess who I jerked I, off I to think last you were night? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know what happened. I don't know the backstory. Deny, story, deny, deny. But I just know that I went into the HR. No, actually, I knew it was a phone call, and they called me that so HR. I was, and I, I would have said, I, I that feel moment. sexually harassed by you. <laughs> I think I should have my attorney talk to you because this and is not true. They give me all these pictures <laughs> of me and my webcam link. And so, they, so they had, like, screenshots. Yeah, somebody oh. said it. Yeah. Did you autograph those pictures for him? Because that'd be worth <laughs> something, yeah. <laughs> Busted. Sign here. <laughs> yeah. Now, then, then you call the race card. What, you're saying all us Asians look alike? That's not me. That exactly. looks nothing like me. But now everybody has tattoos. I just thought that tattoos. was kind of funny. I didn't... I don't know. I wasn't embarrassed. Do you have tattoos that no, d- identify you? I, no, I don't. I don't See? have. I'm all natural. I'm all tattoo. But maybe it's just the, my voice, my accent, or anything. Anyway. I would say, are you saying all Asians look alike? <laughs> that is not me. I am so That's what offended. I tell people sometimes. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so then, so then and you're then like. And I just feel like, you know, the company and me is not a good fit because I'm more like very sexually open and mm-hmm. I like to joke around and company very conservative. Right. So that's when I'm like, okay, let's just go ahead. Because I wasn't even feel embarrassed that they found it. I Say, oh wow, that's a good picture. And, and, and interestingly <laughs> enough, the, the first, the first uh, and you haven't been, you, you've only been doing it for a couple of years. Yeah. But like the first uh, credits that come up on your IMDb page, like Black Buy Cuckolding, uh, uh, I Love Big Toys 35, and Mandingo Massacre 5. Are you a size queen? Mm. I gotta love the big thing. <laughs> but then I've read in another interview, you said, oh, I don't care about size. You know, as long as somebody knows what they're doing. See, I wouldn't want you to be like 12 inches because then I, I don't, I mean, I can't fuck you Damn all it. the time. I, I can't Santa, fuck you all the time. Santa, well, Santa's magic because he can come down the chimney so he can make it big and small yeah, or whatever exactly. he wants. But He's as got long the Santa knows, magic. As long as you know what you're doing, I'm good. You know, we right. have a good time. Now, I, I hear women say this all the time, but are there guys with big dicks that don't know what they're doing? I, I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah, out what. Yeah, definitely. They would just sit there and it gets boring. That, uh, it gets boring, huh, Santa? I know. It's no good, huh? Mm. <laughs> It's kind of like super, super hot chicks. Like they say a lot of the Victoria's Secret models are like they suck in bed. But I mean, how bad can it be? Seriously. If you're with, someone like <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, if, if you're with a big cock, how bad can it be? You I have think, to know how to work it. Oh, so, 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 I, I personally, I could get off on a Q-tip or a big cock. Sometimes I just like when they just grab me and fuck my throat and just really pull my hair. Oh, it's, a lot of guys just kind of sit back when they have big cock because they know, oh, well, my cock does all the work. Oh, okay, so it's like, yeah, they, like they, they feel lazy. entitled, yeah. Yeah. But when you, when, you mm-hmm. look, when, you, when you look like me, you, you, you put a lot of effort into it, and, you, and that's appreciated. <laughs> I'm sure you got a big thing down there. <laughs> you see? Yeah, she's, right, Josie? She, she's a porn star. She knows. Anyway. Totally speechless over here. Anyway, uh, so Santa's totally speechless. Santa... Uh, it's time. Well, there's one more, one more story, and then we're going to get to the gifts, all right? And we're going to get to, you guys can play with Santa and do whatever you guys want. The one more story, because I thought I was horny. Oh. And just to tell you, I'm fucking horny. I read, I read a story where you were in, stuck in traffic, which happens in L.A. a lot. Yeah. See, you know the story I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, listen to okay, this. Okay, I don't know. Listen, tell me, listen tell to this. me. Let's see. Well, I, I, if this is the story, yes. If there's another story, please tell it. You were stuck in traffic, and you were so bored stuck in traffic, you started masturbating on the freeway. A guy next to you checks you out. He's pretty cute. You tell him to pull over to the next exit, and you guys fucked? Yeah, so... That's how horny you are? Okay. I... Because, you know, waiting in wow. traffic is, like, horrible. Was this and, on the 405? And I, I, get, I get so bored I, every time. And I drive... Um, a long time. So I always have these um, these ring vibrator. I always have some kind of vibrator. It's very, I love this woman. A ring I love vibrator. Accessible. Right, right, right. No, I, I, I'm not familiar. Where do you go 
get these ring vibrators. It's like from Hustler. They would give you it to me. You don't know the ring vibrators? They're all over the place. The Trojan makes them. They're, you can get a Target. They, look, they look like a regular ring. Yeah, yeah, they look like that. They look like a regular. They have flowers and everything, and but there's a button on the side. I don't the flowers, side. but yeah. But they look like typical jewelry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Or they can have a lipstick oh. one or I have Do a gift. Do you hear that, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny's hair is purple. It looks cool. Yeah, Jenny looks great. Because, I mean, you never know. I, I go at go airport. I'm being public crowd all the time. So, I don't know. I always have the, all kind of vibrators. <laughs> oh. And um, I always drive like this with my one, one <laughs> leg up. That's just how I drive. No, seriously, I drive yeah. like that all the time. I drive like this with one leg up. And right. so it just so, so the Santa, when you're in the sleigh, you just like, yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah. You just yeah. chill out. Okay, so you got one leg up. Yeah, and it's just so natural that me in traffic and this this hand so, with my rings on will be down here. So how many times start, does this happen? And I guys? never wear panties. I never wear panties. I hate panties. They give me wedgies. So I just might as well go without it. <laughs> they get all so, bunched up. Huh? That's yeah. true. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Santa likes a G-string. The rest of us, I understand. But uh, so so this, this happened once or how many times does this happen? Well, that when it's I actually have sex, and that's just happened one time. But, but the rest, so, I just get a lot of honk from the truckers because they just see bet. me, you know, and I just say hi because I mean I'm doing public service. Um, now, was, um, it, was that the story that uh, you thought I was going to tell, or is there another one? Yeah, I think that's the story. Okay, so I, I, it was so fun because the guy was like, oh, you know. Yeah, he gave me. Oh, he was the one that he, he no. initiated it. Okay. I Where did you hear the story, did. Mark? We're, we're both kind of. Uh, I read an interview with you. At some, some. I, I, yeah, I forget what it was. Yeah, I did a lot of interviews. I, and yeah. <laughs> How many movies have you done in total? Um, about hundred something movies. That's in two years. In two years. Yeah. Wow. So, I so you squirt. I, I, I'm lot. assuming because you a lot. Of, you're in a <laughs> yeah. lot of squirting movies. Is that right? Yes, I was. So you do squirt. I I do. And Santa, what's your opinion on squirting? What do you think about that? Would you like me to squirt on your face, Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Would that be your Christmas present? <laughs> I would just be like, shh. Just say yes, Santa. Come on. Yes, I'm pro squirting. Yes, yes. So what was the first time you discovered that you could squirt? Oh, my God. The first time I feel like so embarrassed because I feel like I'm going to need to pee. Right. And everybody asked me that, and that's how them look, you know, if you need to pee. And the guy would just tell me, just let it go. And I was all afraid, like, oh, it's your bed, everything right, else. Right. And he just said, like, just let it go. And I said, okay, so I let it go. And it's not pee. I know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm familiar. I've, I've been and with a couple squirters, yeah. It, it, it someone feel like I'm serious, so Josie. Orgasm. You're looking at me like I'm it's, it's such a big orgasm. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm aware. It's way more intense oh, than yeah. the regular one. So when you get a regular orgasm, you're disappointed. You just uh, no, you're no, really no. Like, I, I didn't. Jeez, uh, are you crazy? <laughs> I still feel good. I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but once you once you once you discover squirting, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice, and uh, sometimes the guys get shocked, like, right. whoa. <laughs> So when was the, so when did the foreign uh, producers find out that you squirted? Uh, when did they just I mean is that like on your resume that you put or uh? when I realized that I could do it? But sometime, and that's when I do uh, with King. It was with the video for Fucking Machine, and it was all over the place. Okay. Because the fucking machine. Well, yeah. Was well, you were squirting. Stuff. Obviously, it was all over the place. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was all it's the fucking machine just hitting right. me so right. so deep and hard. And that's when I really, I really want to do it on camera. And you're nominated for a couple of AVN awards, if I'm, if I recall correctly. Yes. <laughs> and let's, before we get to the Santa, so so you've been a nice girl today. You've been a good girl this year. Mm, so you, I don't one know. is the best threesome scene. Is that correct? Yes, I got the best threesome scene uh, nomination. Two boys and one me. Oh, the two boys and one girl. The two boys and me. I love that. Very nice. Oh, really? Yes. Josie, get out. No, but. Uh, <laughs> No, it's uh, okay. More, more, more fun. <laughs> oh, so, so, do you, you don't mind this little thing? That, no, no, uh, no. I was a swinger before porn. Well, I, I was going to ask you about that too. About that. Are you still, are you still swinging? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm still a swinger. I got to be honest with I you. Mean, I, I know, guess, a, I know a lot of swingers. Yeah, they don't look like you. No, no. <laughs> they're never attractive. No, they're what, what, they're what do you mean? Santa's saying it. Santa's what, like, what oh. do you mean by that? They're all very sexually. At least the one. Well, they're I very know. sexual. Yeah. I'll yeah. give you that. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> for once, Mark and I agree. Yeah, on they're something. very sexual, but they don't look like you. That's for uh -oh. sure. Oh, oh I was a unicorn. Yeah. yeah they just say, <laughs> that's what I realized. That's yeah. when I met my connection to get me into the adult industry too. Through swinging. So at the swinging party. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, but uh, so uh, I mean, uh, that's that's crazy. So, uh, 
Because you, you must go to some different Because like, you know parties. how much I, lo- I told you I love older men and usually I can find an older man respectful with their wife that with no drama. I don't like dramas. I just want right. to fuck you and I leave home. Like, don't call me. Right. Don't text me. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> get what I want and we don't have to go to dinner, romantics, or anything like that. I just get what I want. <laughs> that works for me. So, <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, works I, for most men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, that, that's when I find like swinging lifestyle is what is fit me the most right. because... So, so if I was to put you on Santa Claus's lap, mm. would you squirt? Because mm. I don't want to, I don't want you to mess up the costume. Yeah. I would squirt out over Santa's beard <laughs> and on his glasses. <laughs> Look at his glasses, making spot uh, on his glasses. Santa, the fog of his glasses. Santa, Santa got some gifts for you. Ooh. So if you want to get on his lap, I'll uh, grab the bag for you, Santa. I'm gonna be your All helper. Right. Yeah, bring bring that bag over here. Ooh, go ahead, Santa, go ahead. Santa's ready. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She, she's sticking her ass in his face. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a good gift. Okay, hold she's on, like, hold make on. it good, make it this good. Is, this is, so this is for Cindy. Now, All right. has Cindy been nice or naughty, Santa? I think Cindy's been, nice. been very nice. She's been very nice. Oh. Very nice. In a, okay. In a very, okay. In a very yeah. interesting sort of way. <laughs> she's Everything. very interesting. Very nice. You know, you know Josie, sometimes you're telling me that uh, every now and then porn stars are disappointing. Cindy is not disappointing. No, she's not. She's a lot of fun. She is fun. Okay, so let's get this out of our way. Usually they don't want to talk they yeah. usually don't want to talk about any of their business. <laughs> it's oh. like why do you think you're here? I mean, I you am know? who I am. That's why I'm in porn because I love sex. So <laughs> Okay, so Cindy, open your presents. I got, uh, I mean, Santa Claus got oh, you some sorry. presents. Sorry, Santa's dick is right here. I can't Santa's dick's right there. I can't focus. Oh my! Santa got you a big old candy cane. Candy candy candy. Oh, I'm afraid to know what she's gonna do with that. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Santa got you some bath salts. Oh, thank Ooh, you. Are you nice. gonna get in it with me, Santa? Oh yes. And rub it yes. all over my body. And we got some, we got some marshmallow right. treats and some <laughs> bubbles too. Oh, look we got some oh, bubbles bubble, for bubble. you. Bubble. If you watch Someone my made movie, made a trip to the ninety nine cents yeah. store. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch my movie, you know I'm a cum bubble blower. You're a cum bubble blower. I love blowing bubbles. Oh, that was another thing. You put a thing on. You put a thing on Facebook. I love this woman. She's fucking great. Uh, I, they, you have put a thing on Facebook where it was you in the snow. And you said, uh, uh, "Who wants a cum sickle?" Or, or can cum I stop? Cum sickle. It was yesterday. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, has anybody really given you a cum sickle? <laughs> you know, like when they yeah. <laughs> like, what's that called? What's that? Uh, yes. The cum. So like they and come in the ice right. tray and then. They freeze it. Freeze what? it later. Wow, this must be a Vietnam maze thing. I thought it was a tropical climate there. I don't, well, I always like to try something different. Sometimes I have cums and. Cappuccinos or coffees or something. Wow. Cappuccinos, wow. Cappuccinos. Wow. Um, on in a cake. You're, different, you're, you're going to different Starbucks than I am. That's crazy. <laughs> she likes the filling. And now maybe I'll come Twinkie. in my... What's it called? What's the this candy called? Cane. Candy cane. Candy yeah. cane. Yes. Candy cane. Why don't you open it? <laughs> and Josie, I, oh, I was... what is this? Though? There's a little bit of oh, Santa. That's, that's a little with Santa it. marshmallow treats. So, uh, <laughs> Josie, I, I forgot. Last year we were having so much fun with uh, Symbol Sex. I forgot to ask you because you were raised Jewish now, but you always celebrate yeah. Christmas or did you celebrate no, Hanukkah? I, I wasn't raised Jewish at all. Oh, okay. But you uh, are my gra- Both my grandparents were. Um, we had Christmas with a Christmas tree. Okay. So, but, so you always and celebrated Christmas. Oh, yeah, oh I look at that. Oh, oh, wait a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's got the candy cane. Uh, that's the biggest candy cane I've ever seen. I don't think you could. Uh, yes, it does. I'm pretty sure it fit in my pussy. I, I, I don't know if if, uh, if you <laughs> sure it's it not would. a cigar. <laughs> Although, I, I don't know. I mean, you you were with Lexington Steel. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a I bigger got, candy cane than that, good. right? I was on his I was show. Unsure on which Playboy. one's bigger? Oh yeah. Was, was it on Playboy? Because no, my she band did she played did on his show. Oh, you were yeah, it was one a of movie. She's a porn star. She actually fucked Lexington Steel. It was like on film. Yeah, no, I've heard things and about then I him. Had, Mandingo was my first interracial porn right. movie. Yeah, I remember my agent called me. Can you fuck Big Dick? And I said, like, Oh, I don't know, but I could try. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you passed with flying colors. So it was a like, yeah. It was actually it feels really good having life is so small, and his dick was way bigger than my face. <laughs> <laughs> is Lexington Steel? Is he small? 
No, 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 he's, no I'm he's I mean, me, me I'm too big. small, oh, okay. and then his, his dick was she like, She said his right. dick was bigger than her face. Yeah, I, can, I, I would imagine, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my whole elbow, right? Uh, this is elbow, right? Right, yeah. so that's elbow. how. Your forearm. Right. Your forearm. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. My dick's bigger than your elbow, but that's not saying much. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see. Josie, uh, you got uh, you got to stay off the laugh. We'll, we'll you guys can play a little bit later with Sandy, but Josie's turned yeah, on stay, Santa's lap. Stay, stay on his lap. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, Josie, <laughs> you, are you going to go on his lap too? Oh, come on his lap. Okay. Hi, Santa. <laughs> okay. Hi there, Josie. Good I to see you again. Oh, okay, let's see what's going on, Santa. Okay. All right, let's see if we get you something Santa, cool here. Santa. Too. I, I'm too big for Santa's lap. <laughs> She's tiny. Oh, yeah, you can come in here. Oh, okay. oh, it's an all day sucker. It's a My Little Pony sucker. Ooh, all how right. Cute. Yeah. Going straight to my knees. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, uh, Is this a hint? <laughs> Do I do I need to work out more? No, no, I, uh, Cindy. Okay, I yes. don't know if you're wearing Santa. Uh, yoga pants. Josie got her yoga her class four sexy. yoga teaching you. license. I bet you look sexy and um, I love I girls. So so so, I, uh, so Santa. Cool, huh? I love like getting it. Santa doors. knew that you were going to teach yoga, so he got you some new you're yoga pants. You're going to teach yoga? Yes. Oh yes, my God! Can I just go to your class? I just yes. be bet. I'm gonna be teaching rock and roll yoga. Some bath salts and a loofah. And oh my god! I, you you couldn't resist, could you? I got some you're such a dick. Well, you're going to Spain. <laughs> I want to make sure that you everything's clean and everything's. <laughs> I got some Vagisil <laughs> from the 99 cent oh, store. Jeez. Because you're going to, you're going to you're going to Spain. Who knows what's what's going on over there? You're gonna be running with I'm the bowls. I'm not. I'm not gonna come back with Ebola. Are you gonna and I don't think you? I don't think uh, Vaj, Vaj Are you gonna up. fuck a lot of Spanish man? Yeah, Jesse. I will. Yeah, take some pictures. <laughs> thank you. Oh, th thank you, Santa. You should just wear the yoga. And I, I have a presence. I have presence too. And Jenny needs to come in here because I have uh -oh, something for her. That, to give this, her. Was, this was not my <laughs> idea, Jenny. Jenny is our producer, and she's she. We couldn't do the show without her. She's she's wonderful. So. So Jenny's going to be sitting on Santa's lap, too. Very nice. Come oh on, Jenny. Oh, my God. Come on, Santa. Jenny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, you already dared her to come in here. It's got to be good if she doesn't want Jenny, to have a camera. Jenny, who very rarely comes in. <laughs> what is it? I have no idea what it is. You got to tell the audience what this is. We're doing the show. Maybe it's one of those things you wear on a, one of those. It's a toy. Is that a ring? Is that a vibrating ring? Is that a vibrating ring? Is that a vibrating ring, Josie? She knows me yes. so well, yeah. Yeah, yes. you can masturbate in traffic now. Oh. <laughs> you, 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 mean, you, you mean, oh, what's a vibrating ring, Josie? Uh, yeah, you were I just know, goofing right? around. What? You were just goofing around. Oh, what's what? a vibrating ring? And then no, I, I've never seen one. <laughs> what you just oh, give her? Next time I see her. Oh, I didn't give her. Oh, I, I gave her uh, something. She could smoke. Oh, okay. We don't want, yes, I understand. Uh-oh, what's going on here? I got some chocolates, some peppermint bark. So what is what is this here? Uh -oh, a oh. calendar. Girl. Now, Josie, why don't you? I, I'll, I'll oh, flip this. Sweet. Uh, Josie, why don't you get on the mic and tell people what this is? Because well, this is the calendar that. Okay, I'll put it on camera. Go ahead. You tell. Okay. You tell what's going on. Hi, this calendar I'm in. It's called Tim Hunter's Honey Bunnies. And it's all pinup girls, and they're all on planes, trains, and automobiles. And my page is the month of May, because that's my birthday. And I'm on this beautiful 1920, I don't know, something classic car from Crevre Motors. Oh, look at wow, that. Very look nice. at that. Sweet. It's beautiful. There's me. Ah. We're doing a little bit of uh, gaps. Great gatsby. Uh Tim is specializes in uh, he he loves photographing beautiful women in front of uh, uh, mechanical stuff, airplanes, and and you uh, can order it. And where do we order it, Josie? Um, just Google Tim Hunter's Honey Bunnies and calendar. Tim Hunter's Honey Bunnies. I love Tim Hunter. We'll uh, should have him on the show. Thank you, Josie. And how long has this piss sand shirt been in the closet? How long has it been in the closet? Yeah. That yes. one is probably about 10 years old. I understand because it's your best socks, which is one of my favorite songs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Piss Ant, Piss Ant. I didn't even see that. Cindy, Cindy uh, Piss Ant is Josie's old band. Oh, she was in the band Piss Ant. When she was on Lexicon Steel show, she my was band with the band played. Piss Ant. 
Yeah. Josie's been on VH1's Rock. Uh, what was nice. it? What, what porn to rock? It was Porn to Rock. Not... We, we got Porn to Rock because I was on Playboy Channel, which is adult. Yeah. <laughs> As is this show. Thank you so much, Josie. Opposed to actually, you you didn't know, even I've have never me. done porn. But you didn't even have me okay. sit on Santa's lap. You, you could try with me. Right. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so now. I, I will set up a camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a camera on you guys, so. What do you got? For Jenny? Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure Jenny will make sure he gets it. Uh, so, uh, so Merry Christmas, Jeremy. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. I want to say, wish Merry Christmas. I got to say, uh, I want to wish Merry Christmas to Jenny, who is always here. Mindy, you filled in every now and then. She's fun, She's terrific. I was going to say she's fucking great. She's terrific. And Jeremy <laughs> and everybody here at Skid Row. Uh, uh, we, um, neighborhood Love. Johnny Gramercy's birthday was last week, so I, I forgot to wish him a happy birthday last week. He has a show on 7 o'clock where he plays a lot of soul and uh, R&B stuff. Johnny, it was his birthday last week. Ah. Happy and, birthday. And Nestor, uh, who's 9 o'clock. So, now I have to ask Josie and Cindy, uh, has Santa Claus been naughty or nice this year? Mm, he's been naughty. He's been naughty? <laughs> he's giving me kisses and touching my boob. Booty. Is that right? Is, yes. uh, have you really been doing Santa that, Santa? I'm touching rubbing booty. my booty. Yes, Santa, you know what that means. That means the naughty list, I think. That means the naughty list. You know what that has. You know what you have to do. I do, but you know what? It was worth it. <laughs> okay, Cindy, you're gonna have to get off his lap for a second. You're gonna have to assume what? the position. What? You oh. and Josie are gonna have to punish him for being naughty. Yeah. Santa, Josie. Ooh, I get to spank him. I, it, it could happen. Could happen. Uh, it's, yeah, hands Santa. on the hands on the table, Santa. Table. Stand yeah, stand up. up stand up. <gasps> How many spots? I had this big Santa. I don't know. I, I, okay, Santa. By the way, yeah. how's how Santa's oh, ass? Nice, huh? Actually, he has a pretty firm butt. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty Santa. Come on, Cindy. Naughty go ahead. Santa. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that's enough. That's enough? Yeah. That's a lot. I don't you think that's enough because so. I think Josie was a little naughty this year, too. Out of there. The hand hurt a little bit or what? <laughs> now, Santa, Cindy, I think you... she's been naughty. She's been very naughty. Have you been naughty, Cindy? No. But there is something really amazing coming out for my fans. I would love to hear but, about this, Cindy. Tell no, us I about it. I can't talk that. about it yet. I okay. can't talk about it yet, but it will be coming. Surprise for my fans. Is, does this have something to do with your website or... Yeah, website, scenes, naughty scenes. Santa Claus Something scenes? I've never seen before. Uh, well, what, what could that be? I don't know. I don't Give know. Give us a hint. I don't yeah, know. Come on. I don't, I don't what know. Body part, they, they what body find, part does they it can, involve? Um, they can find out at AVN Boot, which I will be having at AVN next uh, next month. Oh, my God. Can I believe it's already next year, next month. Are oh, you so you're going to have a booth at AVN? Year? Yeah, I was no, I'm not I'm nominated this year, and my boot is Starfall Boot. At Avian. Oh, okay. Starfall. 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 Uh -huh. Cindy Starfall. Starfall. You, your English has gotten worse as the show's gone along. You realize I know. that? <laughs> but Starfall. I, I, I know. She's again. regressing. You, you, you just see me. Cindy got Santa's you, lap. Must have done something to you. You're regressing the childhood. What, what is that? I don't know. Bottom? I don't know English. You, 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 you so should haunting. hear me after a gangbang so or something. I totally don't know English. I oh, just really? I start, just start talking in Vietnamese after a gangbang. I just got dick drunk or something. Oh, I was, I was going <laughs> to ask you. I was going to ask you because uh, could you say something dirty in Vietnamese? Mm, um, yeah. Well, can you say I love me a long time? Oh, well, 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 no, she, she already did. So, I yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What yeah. does that mean? If I go up to a Vietnamese girl yeah, and say yeah. that, what does that mean? It just means like, do you want to fuck me now? Okay, so I'm, you'll, you'll be seeing me down in... <laughs> <laughs> Down in Garden Grove there, Down in Garden right? Grove. Yeah, Garden Grove. Yes, yeah. that's where the little Saigon is. That's right. <laughs> oh, no, no, Santa knows all, every place all over the world. Garden so. Grove in Westminster right there. Right, right, right. Whoa, so, Santa. So, Santa, where's your Santa. least favorite place to go? Bakersfield. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why sense. is that? I didn't even have to think about that, did right. I? Bakersfield? That's worse than Detroit? Oh, Detroit's got it all over Bakersfield. Really? Yeah, and Detroit at least has a, a lake there somewhere. Bakersfield's got nothing but bad air and bad everything else. Okay. And no good restaurants in Bakersfield. Right, not like Doobie's Home Cooking. No, nothing like that. That's a great place. He ought to open it up a, uh, another place over there in Bakersfield. Well, well, I'll talk to Phil about that. But, yeah, I'll talk uh, to him about What's it. your favorite place to go? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. <laughs> no, he, 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 Are you lucky? A lot of slutty girls there. 
There are a lot of slutty girls in Las Vegas. Yes. That's yes. Yes. <laughs> Santa gets lucky in Las Vegas. No, we haven't talked about it before. Santa gets lucky with the slutty girls. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? So, so uh, when, well, you, when you stop by... Santa. Because you stop by every single place. Uh, go ahead and blow bubbles if you want, Cindy. <laughs> so if you go by every place, uh, uh, or you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work on the cum bubbles later, but uh, when you go to every place on the face of the earth, when you go to, like, the Bunny Ranch... What 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 kind of presents do you bring those girls? Mm. You know the ring that uh, she was talking about, the vibrating ring, the uh, vibrating ring. Yeah, I take them there, I, uh, that sort of thing, and also self help items at the Bunny Ranch. Ah, and a huge items. load like of books, and a huge load <laughs> of self help items uh, of cum to go. Huge. Well, I, I don't know. In, in the Bunny Ranch, no, no. That, well, that's. Well, you are in the North Pole, so you have probably given this a lot of yeah. cups like to go. There's a lot of frozen stuff at the North Pole, let me tell you. <laughs> a lot of frozen stuff. If somebody, the North Pole. If somebody took a yeah, somebody took a little uh, UV lamp to the snow in, in, in the North Pole. Who knows what would you happen? You wouldn't want to do that, no. Right. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want the UV lamp, no, no UV lamp there. All those, all those elves. No, it looks like a crime scene if you get that UV lamp out. Right, right, right. So uh, here's, the, here's the weird thing, because I, I, see, I told you, it goes by so fast. I was going to ask you because you've done a lot of like you started out. It's interesting because when I first started doing comedy, I, uh, I I know this isn't a great. I love uh, comedy. I know. I love a lot of watch. I, I it's, oh my god, you're right. As my English started like worse than this. Right. Ago. Started, started worse. It started worse. Like, oh, that- <laughs> started worse. See, Santa, Santa's got that effect on people. I, 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 if I, I sat on his lap, I couldn't even talk. But I was going to say, I, I'm not equating me standing on stage telling jokes to you sucking dick, but. Uh, when I first started doing comedy, when I first started doing comedy, uh, I, 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 I actually, I, I, I started out doing a lot of black rooms. And when you started doing porn, you did a lot of black porn, mm-hmm. but, but you've moved on beyond that. Cause we've had other people on here. And uh, Josie seems to have a theory that once you do black porn, they won't let you back. But that's not the case anymore. No, right? no, no. I do. I do both. White, black. I don't discriminate. I mean, to me, everybody is I uh, in a ratio to me because unless I fuck an Asian guy, which is not any in the porn. In I was. That's, I was going to ask that too. Why is that? There, there's no Asian guys in the porn they're business. All, they're all uh, transgender. Yeah, if no, they're Asian. It's, <laughs> what I never yeah. met them. They're 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 all, they're all, they're all, I mean, there's porn. Yep. In, there's porn in Japan and other hey, places. Oh, he knows about two girls. <laughs> He's going on. <laughs> well, Sano, you were saying everybody about two girls. Gifts. What, what would you get everybody a gets girls gifts for, for her. Right. If, what, holiday. What, what, what would you get a, a pre-op and a post-op for their uh, for their uh, for Christmas? A pre-op, we get them some tape so they can look really tight and good. And they can tuck it in, right? They can tuck it in, yeah. Post-op, we get them some lubrication because uh, it's not as good as they say. Really? Wow, Santa! Santa's been in Bangkok lately. That's crazy. Bangkok, what a great name, isn't it? Yes. I, I, is that one of your favorite places to go to? Uh, one of my favorite places is to go to Bangkok. Like That's Bangkok, Bangkok, I want to go to Las Vegas, Vegas, Vegas and Bangkok. Exactly. Right. Bangkok. And Santa's like a swinger, swinger too. Santa's, uh, Santa apparently Santa's is a swinger. Santa's a swinger, is that what I hear? He's a swinger, but only a certain parts, uh, certain days of the year. You got to catch him in December. Uh, well, uh, he January. knows about all the other swingers. Santa, you can come with me, too. No, trust me, I know, I know a lot of swingers that look like Santa. Not, not as good as Santa Claus, but kind of the same, the older with the beard. Cindy, you are you are a delight. Thank you we so much. You. I love this huge body you gave me. I bet you do. <laughs> it's just remind me of it's remind me of something that was not my Well, you can take it home. I'm not sure what's hot. You, you with the command of the English language or you like this. You're like <laughs> I see. So you don't even have to act. Just somebody. Some you sit on somebody's lap, then you're just like uh, you're the massage par- You're the massage parlor person of everybody's dreams. But I get, like I don't have to act. Is what you said. Well, now now you're doing the now you're doing the whole we love you long time like whole accent just naturally. It's great. Oh, <laughs> but Cindy, I didn't get to hear her say that. Go ahead, say it. Josie wants to hear you say it. Uh, me love you a long time. Sucky, sucky. You, you said it with a question. Uh, but- do good, number me one. You, me love you long time. Well, we, we've got 54 seconds. Cindy, <laughs> tell us what you got going on. Me love you long time. Cindystarfall.net. Oh, oh, I thought we were talking about Dirty talking to her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys well, can where check can me we out. find you on the internet? Yes, you guys can find me out. Check out my naughty pictures at... Um, at Twitter's, Facebook's, at under Cindy Starfall, and also uh, I, I did. It's worth all it. All my oh oh, also uh, buy my panties. You can snip on it. Do my webcam show on the <laughs> at my uh, uh, online store at CindyStarfall.net. <laughs>
Did you say people get sniffed your panties? Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes I don't wear much panties. Oh, wait, so you say you use panties? I, no, I only wear them when they buy Unless and then I masturbate wedged. with them. Oh, wait a sec. So, so you, somebody can buy your used masturbated panties? Yeah, someone panties? can buy my panties. I masturbate in them and make sure my cum's all over Sounds it. like a stocking stuffer to me. Yeah, and I use my vibrator <laughs> now, ring, you guys. who would you give that stocking stuffer to, Santa? <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed Santa that. Claus. She, she was, she was, she was, all over the world. I was thinking about stuffing stockings with so, BBDs. So, so if you go to CindyStarfall.net, Cindy. they can get your used panties yeah, and pictures everything. and everything Yeah, everything. Movie pictures, webcam shows with me. And Josie, J-O-S-I, K-A-T, Google her. Santa Claus. Google me. If you don't know where Just to find Santa Claus this time of year, I don't know what the fuck to think about you. Send me a letter. Anyway, this is our last show of 2014. And it was fantastic. I want to thank everybody. Josie, Cindy, Yay. Santa. I've got thank the you, holiday Santa. spirit. Everybody have a wonderfully creepy Christmas. I'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye.